Hi everyone, my name is Sarah, and today I'm going to be helping you find some tools to help you find your next great read. So as I said, my name is Sarah and I work at the Bracebridge Public Library. Today we're going to be looking at Novelist, which is an e-resource that you can access for free with your library card. And we'll also be looking at a few websites that are really helpful to use when you're trying to find what you're going to be reading next. To access Novelist, we have to go to the Bracebridge Public Library website. And then we want to go to Library 24-7 and down to online resources. Once we're on the online resources page, we want to scroll down and it is in alphabetical order. We wanna go down until we find Novelist. And today we're going to be looking at Novelist Plus. It will ask us for your library card number and you want to put in your whole library card number with no spaces. Okay, so once Novelist has loaded, we can search for different things. So at the top, you can see you can search by a keyword. You also have advanced searches and you can look at your search history. Along the side here, we have different genres and lists for fiction, nonfiction. We can also look by different ages. So if you're looking for books for teens, or children of different ages, you can go there. But let's go ahead and look for a book. Now, if there is a book that you have enjoyed before and you want to find a book like it, this is a great place to do that. Or if you have a genre that you really like, so if you like reading thrillers, mysteries, comfy mysteries, then you can search for that here as well. Um, but let's go ahead and look for a book to find ones that are going to be similar to that book. And let's look at Harry Potter. And let's go to Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. And we'll search. So you'll see what comes up is the book and the author, the series. Um, it gives the Lexile rating and some other information about it as well. And then down here, there's some handy tools. So if you have liked it and you want to find something that is similar, you can click on title read-alikes. You can also find books that are similar to the author and books that are similar to this series. So let's go to series read-alikes. Okay, so what's popped up is a whole bunch of series that are similar to Harry Potter, and it should also tell you why they're similar. So we can see The Circle of Magic by Tamara Pierce is the first one, and it tells you why it's similar. Um, so they have the same kind of characters with magic, fantasy, teenage magicians, and there are also other ones further down. The Earthsea series is here, so you can see that they have the same kind of chosen one, dark lord, fantasy fiction, classics. Let's go back though, and we'll search for a different book. Now, if you are looking for a specific genre, you can go up at the top and click on Browse By and then Genre. So we can choose either all genres or something that we want specifically. If you're looking for crime and suspense, we can click on that. And you can see there's books that are yet to be published, thrillers, psychological suspense, and more. Let's go ahead and look at thrillers and suspense. So I've clicked on The Journey of the Pharaohs by Clive Cussler. And I can scroll down and see the description, reviews, 
And then at the bottom, there's this handy list of different subjects, pace, storyline. So what you can do is you can select multiple things together. So if you want a book with relics and adventure stories that's fast paced, you can click on search and it will come up with a list of books that have those characteristics. So you can see here are some other ones that have those. So Pirate, there's a lot of Clive Custler ones, some James Rowland's books. So the first website we're going to look at is Fantastic Fiction. Fantastic Fiction is great if you are reading a series because you can find other books in that series very easily. So let's look at um, Clive Custler again. And when you start to type, their name should pop up. So we can see here, there's a little biography about the author, tells what genres he writes, any new books that are coming out or have just been released, and all the series that he has in order. So we can see the Dirk Pitt adventure books here. If they have an alternate title, so sometimes the UK and Canada or the UK and US have different titles, then it will be here. You can see the date that the book came out as well. And then any other series, so the NUMA files, Oregon files, and so forth. You can also see any standalone novels that they have down here. And we can see books that Clive Kessler has recommended. And then down at the bottom of the page, we also have this section that looks at other authors that people have visited as well. So you can get an idea about maybe what other authors you'd like. So if you like Clive Kessler, maybe you would also like James Rollins or Stuart Woods. Let's go ahead and look at uh, CJ Box. So you can see again, his biography, books that are coming out. So this is handy if you like to read series in order. Some people don't care, but a lot of people like to start at book one and work their way down. Okay, so the other website I want to look at is Goodreads. It is a great resource to find book reviews. So on the last website, we saw that uh, CJ Box was a recommendation and the first book was Open Season. So let's look up Open Season here. So you can see that Open Season has a star rating of 3.94. Any book that's really above a 3.5 will probably be pretty good. We can see the plot of it here. So it gives the plot summary. It gives more information about how many people have rated it and reviewed it, which is good to know, especially for new books or new authors. Has some questions. And then we have the community reviews after that. Community reviews are really good to see what people have thought about it. You can see how many stars it has gotten, what the average is, what people are saying if they don't like it. Sometimes people are given books that they don't usually read as a prize or a giveaway. So you'll find that maybe it's a fantasy book, but they never read fantasy. They don't like fantasy, so they might rate it low. 
That doesn't necessarily mean that it's a bad book, just that they don't like the genre. Now you can also go to browse up at the top here and look for recommendations. So if you are looking for, let's look at thrillers again, we can go to thriller. And then it gives you books that have been tagged thriller. So again, this is community driven. Um, there isn't people behind it necessarily who are professionals at this. Um, there's not as many restraints on tagging things, um, but because you do have so many people in the community working at it, it is generally a really good measure about what the book is. Thank you so much for watching our video. Um, if you want to know more or if you're having some difficulty with some of the e-resources that we've talked about, please ask us anything in the comments below. You can also contact us on Facebook or Instagram and you can email the library. So we are checking our emails if you have any questions. Our next video is going to be an overview of the different e-resources that we have. So we'll be looking at some of the databases we have, some of the homework help for kids and teens, and also some of the other e-resources that we have for adults. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.